All right, come on in, hit the like button, and think about subscribing if you've been already. If you've been, if you've been, if you've been, if you've been. And if you are new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is going to be my personal opinion and emphasis on opinion on this specific one. Uh, slash review for the 2023 Apple Plus streaming service film called Ghosted, a romantic action comedy. Here's the plot. At a Washington, D.C. farmer's market, Sandy think, uh, meets Cole, a romantically needy vendor. They share an enjoyable all-night date. Cole returns home, but his texts to Sandy go unanswered. Cole's sister suspects she is ghosting him, but their parents convince him to surprise Sandy in London. Cole is abducted to, the Pakistan, to Pakistan by arms dealers who believe him to be a legendary CIA operative known as the Taxman. Here is the cast. As much as I like Chris Evans, whoever wrote this character needs to be do better, in my opinion. He was also all over the place with the dialogue. First felt like dialogue from an improv class. Now that could also be Chris Evans, because I only know him as Captain America, and technically when it comes to Marvel films or DC films, they're not necessarily in that award-winning type of actor needed. So, you know, it's more of just pure entertainment. Also, I wasn't feeling the chemistry between these two. Uh, to be honest, that and his neediness killed the hallmark romantic part of the story. Uh, the action that uh, I did see would have been entertaining. Uh, it was entertaining if it weren't for the four slapstick comedy with Chris Evans' character. It honestly put me so much out of everything I flat out was bored and annoyed. So I honestly just shut down the film. I didn't watch all of it. I'll be honest with you guys. I always am. It's one of those films that I can't push through. It was the comedy was really, really forced. It's, it's like in your face type of slapstick, and it just the the, the writing was bad. Uh, it's not often I agree with critics, but yeah, this is another bad Apple TV film, unfortunately. So far, the series C and the films Greyhound and Coda, I have liked uh, definitely of not something that makes me want to go, once again, want to be interested in watching uh, the streaming service by Apple. Compared to Prime, to to Netflix, to HBO, you know, their, their, their stuff is way better, in my opinion, than this stuff. Um, but again, if you haven't seen Coda, uh, out of all those, definitely award winner for that, for sure. And there's like a whole lot of around deaf people and stuff. And it's a really wholesome film. But this film, no. Those are the only ones that I've seen other than the uh, Greyhound and whatnot. So, um, and this TV series, I believe, so far is C, as I've seen. So, um, but here's my rating. Yeah, so sadly, in my opinion, a trash film, and I agree with the critics for once, which is very, 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 very rare, because usually when they say something bad, it's usually good. Not in this case. But let me know your personal opinion on the on the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, I am going to be having a, in a way, surprise type of, or it's more of something I've been wanting to get in the mail, a film. So that's going to be coming this week. If you pay in the community section, that's going to go. It's called uh, Mad Heidi, I think it is. Uh, I'll tell you all about it in my review when I do it this week. So whenever that is. But remember, I love you. Please stay safe and spread the love and school.